everybody, here we go. We're going to be doing multi flawed freighter bases today. I'm going to show you a really simple technique for building this. So, here we go. So, the first thing that I've done is reset my freighter base, and you start with a three corridor like this. So, what we need to do is just delete those three, and then we're going to put a door in, and that's going to give us access to the outside. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with exterior platforms. Now, first one goes out like that, and then we want to go five from here. So as you can see, that's the first one. One, two, three, four, and then five. So we should have six in a row like that. The reason that we're, the, the room is only actually five uh, deep, but we need to leave an extra one here so that we can go all the way around it. So what we want to do from there is we want to go two from either side, like that. And then we're just going to zoom around and we're going to fill all these in like that. And once we've done that, one at the top here, one at the top there, and leave these two gaps because that's where your stairs are going. So the stairs pop in like that. And then we can go back and grab our exterior platforms. And we can go ahead and we can build our catwalk all the way around it. Now a good style to use is to build it out like that and then just follow the outside that you've just done and then that way it's going to give you a really cool sort of platform that you can walk around there's these last ones in here literally this is dead easy so there you go that's everything done and then all we have to do is go over and pick what kind of rooms we want on the outside so what I always do is I start off with biological expansion room and as you can see we've left that gap on there for a reason so what we do is we then go all the way around and we fill all these out okay that's that done so we've got the basis for that now and then what we can do is we can pop over to another one of our expansion rooms say like the trade one and then we can pop that in like that again it will always work if it attaches to a catwalk so what I suggest you do is make sure that your second floor is built already and then that way you're going to be able to crack on and you're not going to have to mess about with anything now you can mix it up a little bit if you want to if you've unlocked the glass corridors and things like that you can always pop these glass corridors in on one side of it and that is going to do two two things uh, it's going to provide you with a bit of variation and it's also going to give you a lot of light because one of the things that this is is very dark obviously because of what we're doing so there you go so that's that bit in and then all we have to do now is we have to put the roof on now the best way to do that is to just get another set of extension stairs and pop them in like that take your exterior platform now if you want to continue building up you can do at this point you can make another floor if you want and you can just fill this entire roof with technology expansion or whatever rooms that you want to put in to make it your main command deck but we're just sticking to a we're just sticking to a two level one so I'm going to put that in there like that and then take it to the edge we can delete those stairs now because we don't need them anymore and then yep it's just a simple case of filling all these in until we've completely done it And there you go. You've got a two floored freighter room that you can do anything you want to now. Like I say, this is just the basic way of doing it. As you can see, you can come up onto the second floor now and everything like that. They provide a little bit of light coming into the building so it's not too dark and anything like that. Oh, <laughs> whatever that was. There you go, look. I'm in creative mode showing you because I couldn't be bothered to do all the parts myself. So keep unlocking things, I guess. But a good thing you can do is now you've got your room, you can actually swap some of these out if you want to. So you can get rid of those four on that, you can get rid of all five of those on that side if you want to. Uh, and you can flip them out with uh, like that look. And then you can see a little bit more of what's going on. So we'll just do that to the other side as well. Uh, 
And last but not least, what we'll do is pop a door in. You can put the doors wherever you want, absolutely wherever you want. But what's going to happen is you're going to create a ring like this all the way around. Now you can put windows in, do what you want there, everything like that. You don't even have to use the same rooms that I've used. But what it does is gives you access to a big corridor all the way around like that. And then obviously brings you back out into that. And I like to build, the way I like to do it is I like to use this as my centre hub. All of this is my centre hub. And then use the corridors to then branch off into other rooms off this. But this is your main thing. But I like using these floors as well. Because if you can see, they leave like an air gap at the top. Which I think looks better than the rooms. This is almost like an extra set of windows. So I think the floor, I think it looks pretty cool. And it lets a little bit of light in so you can see what you're doing. But yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's how to do multi-layered or multi-leveled freighter bases or it's a good start anyway so that you get the basic concept and then you can go on from there but yeah thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe if you did and uh, we'll see you in future ones take care he sends goodbye well thank you very much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave us a like and a subscribe you've no idea how much it helps the channel out it really does we appreciate every single one just want to take a quick second to say thank you to all of our creative club members and our creative club graduates you guys are rock and rollers thank you so much uh, if you want to join the membership click the button below uh, you get all sorts of free goodies and bits and bobs like that but for now thank you very much guys take care we'll see you soon